Welcome back to Ohio Campus Tour 2009. My name is Jonathan Snyder. I'm the chairman of the Ohio College Republicans Federation. We're back down here at Miami. Tonight they had their kickoff meeting. The Miami College Republicans met, and they had a couple of special guest speakers come in. They had Senator John Husted, who's running for Secretary of State, and they also had State Representative Josh Mandel, who's going to be Ohio's next treasurer. And at our little city council meeting, where every other week the same seven or eight people show up, we had over 300 people show up at our winter city council meeting. And uh, one by one, folks got up there and said, we want you to lower our taxes. We want you to vote for Councilman Mandel's proposal. Instead of uh, this vote going down six to one, as was promised to me, it ended up passing six to one. This was the first municipal property tax rollback in the history of Cuyahoga County, and one of the only municipal property tax rollbacks in the history of the state of Ohio. And I, I tell the story to illustrate two points. Uh, one is uh, we're all in this room tonight because we believe in the relationship between taxes and growth. We believe if you allow young people or families or businesses to keep more of their hard-earned dollars, that the economy will grow. And that we trust you all, citizens, students, your parents, businesses, to do what they know best with these hard-earned dollars and reinvest them in our economy than we do government bureaucrats. And the second reason I tell that story is because it's important to stand on principle. Uh, too often in uh, politics, people uh, just check the political weather and then they uh, just make decisions based on that. And I fundamentally disagree with that type of decision making. Uh, I think in our party, in our state, in our country, we need to uh, stand on principle and make decisions based on principle. And I've seen time and time again when we do stand on principle, people come out and they'll come out in droves, just like they did at that city council meeting for me. And I'm standing up here as a candidate for state treasurer having been told time and time and time again, listen kid, you're too young, wait your turn. And I'm here to tell you tonight that as you move forward through school here in Miami, as you move forward beyond Miami, whether you decide to teach or start a business or go to law school or join the military or do whatever you want to do, people are going to tell you throughout your life, listen kid, you're too young, you can't do this. Or listen, you can't do it because of this or because of that or because of this or because of that. And I've found with standing on principle, standing with integrity, and working my butt off through pure sweat, you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. Cool. Uh, next, remember, my commitment to you, I'll always be honest, I'll always stand on principle, and I'll never be outworked. And as an illustration of my hard work, uh, I brought tonight with me a, a visual aid. When I knocked on those 19,679 doors, I wore out three pairs of shoes. And usually I had my shoes hanging on my wall at the state house, but I ripped them off my state house wall and uh, brought them with me here tonight. So when you look at these shoes, you see holes in them. And the holes in the bottom of these shoes symbolize the hard work and the honest work I put forth, and Annie put forth, and Ben put forth, and Johnny put forth, helping me get elected. And I hope you be part of our team. Thank you very much. They had a packed room down here tonight, and all 200 of them were very, very excited to hear about Josh Mandel and his campaign for state treasurer. You can follow what he's got going on at joshmandel.com and keep up to date with the latest. We also had down here tonight Senator John Husted, who's running for Secretary of State. And John had a few personal stories to tell about his time in college as part of the College Republicans at the University of Dayton. And uh, here's what he had to say. You know, I had a great opportunity to participate in lots of interesting things in government. I was the Speaker of the House at 37 years old, one of the youngest speakers in Ohio history. And in my first six months in office, we passed the most fiscally disciplined budget in over 40 years in the state, the largest income tax cut in Ohio history, school choice for kids trapped in failing schools. We, we took advantage of the opportunity to do things that we wanted to do. But a lot of those things were shut down and stopped in 2006 when Ted Strickland took over as governor of the state. And you know, I look, you know, I want to change all that because look, as frankly, it, it, being a Republican or being a Democrat, I, I'm for fairness. That's what we should all be for as Americans. Well, we shouldn't be for political gerrymandering and those kinds of things. But right now, that's the system we have in Ohio. And we have to win, and we have to work to change it. Each one of you can have a role in this. The college Republicans play a big role in this. You heard the Democrats. The Democrats have basically said, we own the youth vote. They, they sort of claim it to their, for their own. They say that we own it. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, I, I don't believe that's the case at all. And I think in 2010, 
with groups like yours and all the campuses that we have across Ohio that, that you really can turn turn the vote out and with uh, all of us working together we can take back Ohio in 2010 so thank you very much Senator Hughes says running an exciting campaign for Secretary of State and you can also check in with him online he's all over the internet he's on Twitter at John Husted, that's at J O N H U S T E D. And you can also follow him at his website, it's HustedForOhio.com. We also had the opportunity to take a few minutes to sit down with the chairman of the Miami College Republicans, Alex Coelho, and uh, to kind of talk to him about his plans for 2009 and beyond. Cool. I'm here with Chairman Alex Coelho of the Miami College Republicans. And Alex, you guys had your kickoff meeting. How'd you feel like it went? Oh, it went very well. We had a uh... Senator John Husted, who's running to be Secretary of State, and Representative Josh Mandel, who's uh, running for State Treasurer. Both of them came in, had a couple of local officials and uh, different events. Uh, over, say, over 200 people. Nice. Show up at the very event. Very good. Very good. Great turnout. 200 people. That's phenomenal. Yeah. That is. Uh, that's very good. You know, it's one of those things we're seeing on campus after campus. Everybody says Barack Obama has got the youth vote. He's got it on lockdown. You know, John, Senator Houston was talking about it earlier tonight. It's just not the case, is it? Not at all. I mean, what we've seen here and what I'm sure people are seeing throughout Ohio and the nation is just people are seeing what Obama's actually doing. Not what he said, but what he's actually doing. And they don't like it. Yeah. You know, absolutely. You know, I think the turnout tonight speaks to even more, you know, the great job you guys do down here. You guys actually ran out of sign-up sheets <laughs> yes, at your mega fair the other week, right? Yes, we had uh, over 300 people sign up to our list serve at mega fair. That's phenomenal. About uh, just under three hours. So. That's uh, that's 100 an hour. That's more than one new college Republican every yes. minute. That is uh, it's quite a feat. Mm -hmm. Now, what all do you guys have planned for the rest of the year? What's on tap for the Miami CRs this fall? Well, we have some a uh, couple different campaign opportunities locally and different things with the statewide candidates for 2010 coming mm -hmm. up. Um, we have our annual CPAC trip coming up in uh, mid-February, which is always uh, always just so much fun for us. We rent a bus and head down, about 50 of us or so. Nice. 10-hour bus Road ride. trip to D.C. <laughs> yeah. It's always fun. Yeah. Always fun. Absolutely. Now, <laughs> what are you guys seeing here on health care? Um, I think what we're seeing is just, you know, people... I think everybody agrees that there are things in the healthcare system that aren't perfect, mm -hmm. but you know, people look around and see, you know, see systems in other countries, these government-run bureaucracies that take over healthcare, and they don't want that. You know, there are things we can do um, to make healthcare more affordable and better for Americans, but you know, going to a government system, I think you know, the vast majority on, here at Miami do not support that and will yeah. not support it. We had the opportunity last week to meet with Chairman Michael Steele of the Republican National Committee, and one of the things that he's been very big on advocating, as well as Chairman DeWine, Kevin DeWine of the Ohio Republican Party, are solutions-based approaches and having some integrity on the issues and a base to stand on. Do you think that is the way for Republicans? Back oh, absolutely. I mean, we can't, you know, we have to stand up against the things we don't like, but we have to be out there with our ideas with what we believe and what we know is going to help Americans, help the economy, improve health care, fix the just enormous debt that we're in right now. You know, we have to be out there leading with ideas. Very good, very good. And I have to, I have to recognize this. You guys share an office with the college Democrats here. <laughs> yes. How, how do you function on a daily basis? Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> um, we're very lucky that um, here at Miami, we are roughly three times the size of our neighbors in our office space here. <laughs> we want to thank everyone that took the time to come out to the meeting tonight, and especially the statewide candidates that took the time to drive into Oxford. We also had Chairman Tom Ellis from the Butler County Republican Party who joined us this evening. And uh, it's great to see the support that the Republican Party has for college Republicans, especially here at the university uh, here in Oxford. Miami University, year in, year out, is one of our best chapters statewide, and I know they're going to do it again this year. You can keep up to date with what these guys are doing, as well as what we have going on statewide with the Ohio College Republican Federation by following us on our website, 
www.ohiocollegegop. We'll be coming to you tomorrow morning from Athens with Chairman Susie Hawk of the Ohio University College Republicans. She's going to tell us a little bit about what they've got planned for 2009. And uh, you can follow us also on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash ohiocrs. That's twitter.com slash ohiocrs. These guys also have a, uh, their own Twitter handle. They're at Miami CRs. So if you want to check out what they've got going on here on campus, definitely do so. We thank you for your support. Stay in, tu stay in tune with us, and uh, we'll keep rolling on Ohio Campus Tour 2009.